For several years now, Koreans have battled a British company to take responsibility for a toxic product believed to have killed around 90 people, including mothers and babies. Now their fight is gaining global exposure. This week, Korean protesters traveled to London to picket Reckitt Ben Kaiser's annual shareholders meeting. And on Thursday, company CEO Rakesh Kapoor said he profoundly regrets the situation and is personally very sorry. This is the first time the company's admitted selling a humidifier disinfectant linked to the deaths and illness in hundreds of others. The story's been carried by UK media such as The Guardian, Financial Times and The Telegraph. But the protesters aren't satisfied yet and are meeting Kapoor today reportedly to ask he apologize to the victims in Korea in person. Kim Dok Jong is one of the protesters in London. He says his five-year-old son died after using the sterilizers. The investigations are revealing all their crimes. The British people need to know that the same thing could happen here. We want an apology and assurances that this will never happen again. Reckitt Benkaiser discontinued the disinfectant made by its Korean unit Oxy Reckitt Benkaiser in 2011 after a government investigation suggested the product caused lung damage. The company also makes popular brands selling in Korea, including Silit Bong, Detol, and Durex. For example, that's a, such a big company. I never heard about that, that company name before that. But they make a Durex, the condoms. They make a Lamsip and Detols. The humidifier disinfectants linked to lung damage are only believed to have been sold in Korea. Now, Ruza, the product has been off the shelves here in Korea for five years now, but it seems like it's only now that the victims' voices are being heard. Sure, well, it, it took them going to London to achieve that, but it's definitely made an impact. They're holding the company accountable in a very public way. Away, and the CEO, Mr. Kapoor, also said that uh, his company is responsible, and he's personally going to try and make sure that something like this never happens again. Well, I guess words aren't just enough, and uh, it's really interesting to see what will come out of this meeting with Kapoor and whether he will be here in Korea and meet victims' demands. Mm -hmm. All right, Bruce, thank you so much for the coverage today. No problem.